behind your buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the motion blur filter. Now, first thing to do, open an image, and then once you've got an image open, just go to filters and blur and motion blur. Right, so you've got that, so you can see straight away you've got the motion blur effect. It always puts the uh, panel down there, so just quickly move it back again. You can just have the full, then split view, so you can see the original and, and there. But personally, I just keep it like that. Now, you can modify the radius. Now, by default, it will just go up to 100, 0 to 100, so you can see it, 0 up to 100 pixels. You can also modify the rotation as well. You can also do the same, just move it like that, you can see the radius changing as well as the angles, you can just use the cursor as well just to modify it, quite effective as well. Now you can also, if you just noticed earlier that it was actually 400, you can actually set it to 400, so you can actually enter a value greater than the slider range, that's a, a useful thing to know, it goes up to about 1000 odd, 200, yeah 1024, so 1024 pixels. So that's it, that's the maximum range, and you can just see it goes around like that. Quite effective. Cancel. Now, you can apply it to a layer, you can apply it also to channels. So you can go to View and Studio and Channels, you can actually see the channels there, and go and select, say, the red channel, like you would in Photoshop. You've got a red channel, green channel, so red channel, and just apply the effect. So filters and go to Blur and Motion Blur. And you see the effect there. Now I'm going to set it quite large. You can actually see one, two, four, and apply. Now just go back to the original, and you can see the actual blur has just been applied to the red channel. So that's just a great way of creating some interesting color effects. You can also combine it, of course, with other filters as well. I'm just going to come back out of that. Just apply that effect, filter, blur, motion blur, and Okay, you've got that red channel, I don't want that. I just want to go back to that one, so just continue with that. And filters, blur, motion blur, click apply, and you can apply it again, or as I say, combine it maybe with distort and deform, and just apply it, pins, and that sort of thing. So you can create some really weird, sort of ghostly kind of effects using that cancel. Now, Another thing you can do, you can actually just come over here to the rectangular marquee tool, select that, and get back to the whole just image there. So just select an area you think, oh, that'd be a nice area to apply the effect to. And you can just go to filters and blur and motion blur, and you can see the effect there. So just apply it like that, apply. And of course you can always do invert and then apply maybe, obviously if filters, blur, motion blur, maybe change the angle so you can actually create more interesting effects like that now just going to go back again you can also use masks you can also use and i'm just going to quickly go to layer and new live filter layer and a motion blur filter and the thing about that and again like puts a panel over there there right in the center now what you can do you can actually modify the radius again you can see the effect there and again, you can use the cursor to move that around. And now that's been applied to that background layer. So you can just see that be now that around. Also, one thing with this, you can actually modify the opacity. So you can actually change the opacity so you can see less of the effect or more. And you can also use blending. So you can darken, dark color, multiply, lighten, and create some very interesting effects just by using like lighten there. So what you can also do, and another great thing about motion blur, and I'm just going to come out of that because I don't do there. I'm just going to apply it to, say if you've got two layers, so I'm just going to say a new layer, duplicate that layer, duplicate that layer, and maybe apply it. Effect. I'm just going to quickly go for a distort, deform, and just distort that there. Click apply. Now, what you can do with a layer, you can just go select that layer, just select, make sure it's selected, and then just go to the layer, new live filter layer, motion blur filter, and apply the effect. And now what you can see is it's just applied to that duplicated layer, the layer above there. So if you actually want to move it around, I'm just gonna now I'm gonna get rid of that. So it's still there. The good thing about it is if you want to bring it 
apply again, just click there, it's just there. Click that and you can come up with the little panel again. But, remove that again. If you want to say apply it to the whole lot, you can actually just select that and just drag it up there and you can see then the effect is applied to both of those layers. So it's just a puff. And of course you can move that back down again to that one there. And you've got just the effect just applied there. Right, that's a quick run through. I'm certain there's thousands of other things you could do with motion blur. Maybe apply it with brushes, use it with patterns, use it with other layers, etc. But anyway, that's just a very basic run through of motion blur. It's a really useful feature for creating some very interesting sort of distorted stretch, blurry, smeary effects. And I'm certain other things as well. Hope you found this interesting. Thanks. Bye.